Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, food liquor shells, dust like stars, peasants, vassals, minions, naysayers, nincompoops, ninny hammers, nitwits, nonconformists, ne'er do wells. I'm a useful idiot, welcome. And uh, today I want to talk about how the big banks uh, jack their own stock prices up by buying their own stocks. And uh, the big banks swap their uh, sh uh, shares back and forth also to jack up stock prices. And this is a nice companion piece to a video I did earlier uh, about how corporations do massive buybacks uh, every year, year after year, and it helps to uh, create uh, their own market and jack the prices up on their own stocks. So now, no surprise, uh, we see the same practice among all the two big to fail banks. So the story being that uh, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, FINRA, self-policing body on Wall Street, released a detailed data on uh, dark pools for the first time. And uh, what it shows is uh, what you'd expect, more manipulation of stock prices. And uh, dark pools match buyers and sellers in the dark uh, without disclosing the bids and offers to the public marketplace. And uh, the biggest banks on Wall Street have been making a market in their own stock inside the dark pools that they own to the tune of tens of millions of shares a year if this data is typical of an average week. And uh, we have to assume that this is typical of an average week. And, uh, and, and also that the, the numbers that we're getting from this might actually be uh, too low because the, the banks knew that this uh, uh, information was going to be disclosed so they were able to even manipulate these numbers to a certain extent. So the, the numbers might actually be even much larger than this. And uh, so the data was released for May 12th through the 16th, so only four days worth. And yet, in that amount of time, Merrill Lynch's dark pool executed, executed 16,246 trades in the stock of its parent uh, company, Bank of America, 8,207,150 shares uh, traded in that dark pool. And uh, uh, for that week, J.P. Morgan showed its dark pool, JPM-X, traded 826,614 shares of its own, own uh, stock. And other banks trading a million or more shares of J.P. Morgan stock to show that the banks are propping up each other is uh, Credit Suisse, Credit Suisse uh, UBS, Barclays, Deutsche Bank, Goldman Sachs, and Citigroup, all uh, uh, trading a million or more shares of J.P. Morgan stock uh, within that four-day period. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, in uh, fairly round numbers, one million dollars uh, each in uh, one million shares each uh, for most of those uh, those banks, and um, these figures only represent uh, twelve percent of the sixty-eight point sixty-seven point eight million shares of Bank of America that are traded in dark pools that week. Um, so these are staggering numbers uh, we're talking about, and uh, Citigroup owns a total of four dark pools and they have really creative names lava flow liquify city credit cross and city cross and um, like I say all the banks uh, own their own own dark pools and all this trading and market that's done um, out of uh, the public sphere and they're, they're, they're completely unregulated so these are, this is done right under the noses of the supposedly uh, the financial industry regulatory authority in the SEC um, and this is a, a pretty uh, blatant example of, of jacking their own stock prices up using their own uh, dark pools, unregulated, uh, and hidden from, or <laughs> barely, barely hidden from their uh, overseers. So, so we have three problems here. You have uh, banks make making their own market in their own stock in these unregulated dark pools. And number two, that the large banks are making large markets in each other's stock. And then number three, we only see one week out of 52. So we're only seeing four days so far. And uh, this information is already uh, pretty revealing. So it's hard to imagine what the ebb and flow uh, of this process over 52 weeks would be. And, uh, and then number four, like I pointed out, the banks knew this information release was coming and, and was able to... Uh, shift around the numbers uh, to try and make even this uh, damning report uh, a little more palatable. 
And then, uh, last but not least, uh, you, you factor in uh, the complications of uh, high frequency trading and how high frequency trading interfaces um, with this uh, this uh, dark pool uh, trading, and uh, it, it presents another uh, uh, variation of uh, these companies and these banks that just uh, manipulate uh, every single number that they have, and uh, all in the end to, uh, of course, to inflate their own stock prices, to inflate their uh, values, to inflate their books, to inflate their bonuses. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.